Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark, and today's video is going to be about us building this car canopy. We got it at Harbor Freight. It's a Cover Pro, and it's 17 by 10. It was on sale for 179. We got it because Matt wants to paint his truck, and he wanted to do it um, covered so that no bugs would get in the paint or anything like that. So um, I've got a time-lapse video that we made when we built it of us building it. Overall, the build was pretty easy. The directions were really good and they explained it step by step, really detailed with what parts go where. And overall, it uh, came out pretty good. A couple things about it. The tent, I've never actually seen another car cover to compare, but the uh, tent material is sort of tarp-like. Um, I'm not sure how well it would hold up in a harsh New England winter, but for what we want it for, it seems perfect. Because it's a temporary installation, we didn't anchor it to the ground and we're just hoping that no big wind gusts come through, no storms, and blow it away. So if you have any questions about it, um, please let us know, leave a message in the comments, we'll be glad to answer anything that we can. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. This pipe here along the side is the only area that you need a tool for. You need a 10 millimeter wrench. And what it does is the brackets actually lock the uh, tent part down to uh, the side of the frame. So that prevents the tent from flying off the top because it goes through these sleeves here that actually uh, hold the pipes in and then they get bolted to the the frame so it's not going to blow up or blow over anywhere. The front and back doors are held on by the back strap on, um, on this pipe here. What they do is there's a, a piece of webbing that goes through the, uh, the door. I can kind of zoom up and around. Can't really show it but it goes up and around the top of the frame and then it comes all the way around and then it comes back down over here um, and it, it goes right there and what you do is you pull it really tight and it locks the uh, the end piece I'm not actually sure what it's called but the basically the door to the frame the front strap goes uh, through the big piece of tent material and when you tighten it down, it pulls it around these corners and then that actually holds, uh, you know, the, uh, the top part of the tent down uh, to the, um, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, down to the pipe and it holds it over the frame so it won't blow anywhere. And then there's another one right here that's in the front also. And if it comes loose or, needs uh, a little more tension, you just tighten that ratchet strap. This is the back side of the tent here, or canopy. It doesn't have any openings, so you can only bring a car out through the front of the, uh, the tent. With the canopy, you get these really big stakes that you're supposed to screw into the ground, and then uh, there's cables that attach to the corners. They're kind of covered right now. We didn't put them in because three of the legs are on cement, well, on blacktop, and um, it's only a temporary thing. So if we were gonna leave it permanent on the driveway, we'd probably anchor it with some kind of cinder blocks or something like that. Not, not really sure how we do it. So as you can see, the installation went pretty easy. I'm not exactly sure how long it took. I think it was about two and a half hours. 
But overall it was pretty quick, pretty easy. What we did was I gathered the parts, put them in the proper order on the ground where they needed to be, and then Matt put them together. It was pretty much just sliding pipes into connectors. Um, so it wasn't that difficult. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent tent. It seems good. Um, we're pretty happy with it. Maybe when we're done, we'll actually test it out for the winter and uh, see how it is to store his truck or something. We're not, we're not really sure what we're gonna do with it. We might just take it down and uh, store it, but it's built, so hey, why not, why not use it? But we'll see. Uh, so thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, leave a message in the comments. We'll be glad to answer them. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching.